Even though Queen Charlotte is frantically trying to find a legitimate heir to the British throne, the Netflix series never explicitly states who will succeed her. As a follow-up to Netflix's Bridgerton, Queen Charlotte depicts Queen Charlotte's early life and how she came to be known as the renowned Bridgerton character she is today. The Netflix series depicts the Queen's panic to find an heir to the throne after the death of her granddaughter, Princess Charlotte, who passed away due to complications with childbirth, even though Queen Charlotte's past timeline focuses on the couple's early marriage. A significant portion of Queen Charlotte focuses on Queen Charlotte and King George's children and their lack of heirs. However, the Netflix show never fully goes into depth on the crown's line of succession, leaving the question of who becomes heir to the throne after Prince George largely unanswered in Queen Charlotte. Luckily, the real history of Queen Charlotte's family can help fill in the gaps of Queen Charlotte's plot, showing a glimpse into the future of the British monarchy in Bridgerton. George IV is already ruling in place of King George III, Queen Charlotte shows that while the Netflix series takes place during King George III reign, their son, Prince George, is already ruling in his place. As a result of King George III illness, Prince George steps up to serve as the Prince Regent, which gives him ruling power in place of his father. This can be seen in Queen Charlotte, as while the titular Bridgerton character appears to be in control and attempts to arrange marriages for her children, the Prince Regent has the final say when he approves her choices. Because of George the fourth role as Prince Regent, the line of succession is already partially coming into effect in Queen Charlotte. In reality, the Prince Regent title was given to the future King George IV in 1811 as a result of his father's deteriorating mental state. Prince George assumed the throne as King George IV after serving as Prince Regent from 1820 until the death of King George III. King George IV was crowned King of England. But since he had already been in power as the regent for nearly 10 years, his accession didn't actually alter his position in any significant way. The events of the Netflix series are set in the middle of Prince George's regency because Queen Charlotte's current timeline takes place around 1815. Who becomes king after George IV and Bridgerton's timeline? Queen Charlotte's first episode opens with the death of the king and queen's granddaughter, Princess Charlotte, which results in an heir crisis. Princess Charlotte was the only daughter of King George IV, who remained childless upon his death in 1830. Though Queen Charlotte's struggle to secure an heir is a huge plot point in the Bridgerton spin-off Queen Charlotte, the line of succession was a bit clearer for the British monarchy in real life compared to Queen Charlotte. Given King George IV had no living children at his time of death in 1830, the crown would pass to his next oldest brother. King George and Queen Charlotte's second son, Prince Frederick, died in 1827. So the crown actually passed to their third oldest son, Prince William, who became King William IV. King William IV ruled from 1830 to his death in 1837, after which the next generation of the British royal family ascended the throne, meaning Queen Charlotte's search for an heir worked. Queen Charlotte sets up Queen Victoria. When she takes the crown, the announcement that Prince Edward and Princess Victoria are having a child concludes Queen Charlotte's search for a legitimate heir to the throne. Princess Victoria believes the unborn child will be a girl, and Prince Edward informs Queen Charlotte of this. Queen Charlotte answers, a strong queen is just what this country needs. This scene foreshadows Queen Victoria, the daughter of Prince Edward and Princess Victoria, who will rule for the longest period of time until Queen Elizabeth II, 